Good afternoon. Dominic Perez has been on the stand for almost three hours now, telling the jury what happened the day he shot homeless camper James Boyd. This is the first time he's spoken outside a police interview since that shooting in the foothills in 2014. Perez is trying to convince a jury it was not murder as he's charged. News 13's Haley Rush is live at District Court with more. Haley? Yeah, Kim, it's a packed courtroom right now in there as Perez still testifies. Earlier, he told the jury police did everything they could to stop the standoff and end it peacefully, but James Boyd refused to listen. He's not wanting to resolve the situation. We're, we are giving uh, the tools and the, the things that he's requesting and trying to please him and help him to um, end, this, uh, end the situation peacefully, and he's refusing to do so. On the stand today, Dominic Perez called James Boyd's demeanor concerning. He says the homeless camper refused to follow officers' commands or drop his knives. It was Dominique Perez and Keith Sandy who fired shots at Boyd, killing him as he held his two pocket knives. The defense says they were protecting a fellow canine officer who got too close to the homeless camper. Today, Perez also told the jury James Boyd was dangerous because he was telling officers he would murder them. A deadly threat. I mean, he's making these comments to, to kill officers. I mean, that's it's clear. Prosecutors have said Perez and Sandy didn't need to shoot and that Boyd was turning to surrender when the officers fired their shots. Now, Perez faces second degree murder along with Keith Sandy. If convicted, they could both face up to 15 years in prison. Back to you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Haley. Now, Perez is currently telling jurors why he believes he had to pull the trigger. We will hear that testimony and see if prosecutors get a chance to cross-examine Perez today coming up at 530.